Okay, I'm up uh, Canadre and I'm going to film where the Canadre Collier he was. I did want to film the bridge over there. You can see the bridge over there coming over the railway. And there's a railway club under the bridge there where you've got two or three locomotives. They're old locomotives and you've got the club coming up and they drive them about now and again. It's a, it's a club for volunteers, it is, for those who are, who are interested in uh, driving an old locomotive. I wanted to film that, but it's too windy. And I was going to film the lake, yeah, that, uh, well, the little pond we used to see all the time coming into work in Canadra. We used to look at it down there, but it's all overgrown there and there's not much wind here now so I'm going to try and film where the pit used to be and you can see all the water here and uh, we'll go up here now then see if I can film this there's no wind here so it's not too bad but at the top now it might be too windy because if you're filming and the wind is blowing then you can't hear yourself talk. Right, I got shoes on. I didn't think there'd be so much water here today. Anyway, this is the road that we used to travel to work. I worked 23 years in Canada. I started January 1967 and worked on the bank for a few weeks before I was put underground then to go on the coal face. And of course my name is Clive Worth, my brother Spencer and Kevin also worked there. And uh, I started long before they did. 1967 they were in school and other boys that uh, came after, that we all know, worked in Canadra. One of them was a reunion man. Because uh, they don't remember me working on the coal face. And when I see them, they tend to throw that up, but they were in school. Now the wind is picking up here now. That's the trouble if there's too much wind. It'll blow in the, in the mic. Always windy up here, you know. Oh, it's really strong by now. Hope it'll calm down a bit, yeah. They got big stones here yeah, now. Where the way bridge used to be. This is where the way bridge used to be. And down there used to go the railway line. And the way bridge was behind. And of course, uh, canteen was behind there. And we'll go up here now. Well, the truth is, you know, there, there's nothing here really. It's all just overgrown. Uh, over there, if if I go up, I, I've been, I enjoy the walks here. There's lovely walks here, and I've been up the top a few times, and there's a a big uh, like chimney on the top there. That's probably where the shaft was. And up there, they had the new drift. The new Cowie Vow Drift that they spent 30 million on sinking and uh, nobody worked there, which was a waste of 30 million. But if they gave that all to us. Anyway, uh, I'll go back down now because it is too windy to film anymore. And like I say, there's nothing here, but I love coming for walks here. Yeah? And there's also by the bridge there, 
you got the cycling path for the walk again. And there's plenty of room to park here. Yeah. To come for a walk. Of course I'm uh, 66 now. It's September the 24th today. 2015. In fact, I was 66 today. And people are asking me, well, I'm on Facebook and everybody's asking me, what am I going to do with my day? Or where am I going to celebrate? Well, I'm not going to celebrate. I no longer drink. I had a drink problem. I just enjoy you know, my walks, my grandchildren on the weekend, and my PlayStation 4 at night. I don't even bother dating anymore. Well, I just gone. I like my own space, you know. I'd love to have a woman friend who didn't want to stay the night to me or something like that, but I couldn't handle a woman all night anymore. Yeah, this is where the road was coming out. Of course, they've put big boulders there now, look. Why they've done that, I don't know. Of course, there's another entrance over there that they've built going down to the railway line. Yeah, 23 years I travelled this way. And it's funny, I used to hate coming to work here and getting up at 5 in the morning, coming to work, and now I miss the old place. Well, we were well off then, weren't we? I mean, coal, everything, you know, we've got to pay for bloody everything nowadays. But lucky for me, I got a good miners pension as well as a state pension. And I'm pretty well off. I'll say no more about that. I'll have all the bloody women after me again. Uh, somebody's put an old bed, yeah. Right then, I think I'll stop now and put this on YouTube. For everybody to see. And like I say, the only good thing about this place are the walks here. Beautiful walks here. Well, I've been on the path over there, the cycling path. I'm going up this small road here now. And there's plenty of room to park the car here. So I'll finish there now. Okay.